Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. If you are someone who enjoys talking about film, how about clicking that subscribe button? So today we're going to be talking about Disney Plus's newest film, Secret Society of Second Born Royals. Ooh, that's a mouthful. <laughs> Secret Society of Second Born Royals came out on Disney Plus September the 25th and I really don't know any of the actors that come well except for one uh, but I'm gonna don't mind my phone now this stars Peyton Elizabeth Lee as Sam Niles Fitch as Tuma Isabel Blake Thomas as January Olivia Debo as Princess Roxanne Bailey Racco to Havana? Yeah, no, it was bound to happen. As Mattel. Elodie Young as Queen Catherine. Skylar Austin, which is actually the only one that I know, uh, plays Professor Jean tomorrow. This movie, if you're a grown ass adult, have no kids, don't watch this movie. Definitely, if you have children, they're gonna, they're more than likely going to enjoy it. I had so many issues with the movie. I really don't wanna like tear it down because the movie itself. You know, I've said this when it comes to kids' movie, they're not meant for me. I was seeing a lot of people comparing this movie to Sky High. Honestly, personally, I compared it more to Zoom, which I also really, really enjoy. Um, if you've never seen neither one of those two movies, I recommend to see those two over this one. So we do follow Sam in this movie, who is, of course, the second born. Sam is very much like Elias Princess. She does not want to be a princess she's not about that life she doesn't like people like telling her what to do she's always kind of taking off she formed a band with her best friend and this is where kind of the issue with me kind of started because even though she is the second born she is still royalty right especially since we are coming uh towards a coordination like wouldn't like a big main thing be to like make sure the whole family kind of like there's no mishap nobody gets kidnapped but yeah I, I found it kind of strange that she really didn't have security like kind of watching her and she being out in public i feel like at some point somebody would have recognized her and would have been like oh my god that's royalty that's so and so but like nobody seemed to care you know at all about her i just found that very strange and i don't know like how accurate that really is like do people really just not care at all about the second born i mean i care about harry oh also harry makes a little small little cameo well photo of him <laughs> the villain in the story honestly i pretty much guessed who it was like right away i feel like it was pretty obvious and also when we got to his minion I just don't understand how that whole thing formed. I mean, it's one of those things that was never explained. <laughs> how did you know that that villain was in there to start off with? How were you able to get messages into the, well, no, 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 because that power was used later on once you got to the so, 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 I was about to tell you something. I don't know, like that whole thing just made no sense. When the villain escaped, made no sense either. Like, okay, you show him just breaking his cell and he's walking away, but yet you don't show when he's like having to get through these other levels to get actually outside to actual freedom. Also, when it came to the minion, I guessed right away who the minion was just because of certain things that were done. Everything was very, very predictable. And then, oh my god, the special effects in this movie, you guys, were absolutely trash. Trash, you guys. There's like this whole butterfly scene. At first it was like, oh, that's kind of cool, but then, then it wasn't. It was like, oh, that's terrible. So, yeah. But with all that said, you guys, at the end of the day, this movie was not meant for me. It is meant for kids. <laughs> this could be this generation's Sky High or a Zoom movie. See, they're not going to really pay too much attention to all the little small details that I kind of like picked at it and that said I watched it like Saturday morning I was like okay so this is movie I watched Saturday morning I kind of turned off my little critical mind off and I'm like I'm truly just going to have my coffee and enjoy this movie but then like so many things were happening that just made no sense but with that said I'm gonna go ahead and just give it a small popcorn rating um if you've seen this movie what did you guys think about it did you like it show it you hate it was it just not for you if you haven't seen it are you planning on seeing it or are you planning on seeing it because you do have kids because if you don't have kids remember do not watch this movie I cannot stress that enough if you do see the movie after i told you not to come back let me know what you guys thought about it uh, of course before you guys click out of this video don't forget to give it a like subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each other that i post a video till next time i'll see you guys at concessions bye